Welcome to this five minute exam English video. Normally my videos are focused on one particular exam. This video however is for everybody. In my experience of preparing people for speaking exams, I've noticed that some people repeat these phrases again and again when they answer questions. Now these are not bad words to use, but when you're taking a speaking test, it's not a good idea to keep repeating them. Therefore, in this video, I want to show you some alternatives that you can use when you want to express your ideas and opinions. Please take a look at the two questions on the screen. Many English exams give you a mix of personal questions, like A, and questions which ask you to consider the society around you, like B. Now, have a look at the phrases that I'm highlighting right now. In a few moments, I'm going to show you some interesting alternatives to these phrases. If you want to, you can pause the video for a minute or two and come up with some of your own alternatives. Will your ideas be the same as mine? And here we are. The first phrase looks quite serious, doesn't it? But actually, it can be used in formal and informal contexts. Next, I want to introduce you to a very useful verb, reckon. It can be used as a synonym for these phrases. Reckon is considered to be an informal word, so I advise you not to use it when you're answering very serious questions. Make sure you pronounce the vowel here correctly. Reckon. Did you hear the sound? One more time. Reckon. The next phrase, in my eyes, can be used at the start of a sentence as well as in the middle of a sentence, like in this example. I want to quickly move on to phrase number four. I'd is short for I would. The whole phrase, I'd say that, is quite common in English, as you can see. When I entered it into Google, I received nearly 40 million results, and that's quite a lot. I just want to point out that these phrases in my eyes, and I'd say that, can be used in formal and informal contexts, like phrase number one here, I'm of the view that. Before we finish this video, I want to show you just two more phrases that you can use to introduce an opinion. In regard to the first one, I want to point out that typically we put stress on the word I. So the phrase is the way I see it. That's because you want to distinguish your views from other people's views. And in regard to the second phrase, I want to point out that the stress is on the first syllable. In the final part of this video, I have for you some typical exam questions that you can use to practice the phrases that have been presented to you. You could practice with a friend, or you could even practice answering these questions out loud on your own. Don't worry, it won't make you crazy. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.